Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the latest leaked build on your Sprint Samsung Epic 4G Touch FH13. This is a still ice cream sandwich based. Um, it is basically a leaked build updated from FF18. This build was created on August 13th. Um, so it is leaked. Uh, again, I would assume it just improves upon FF18 as it is a later build of the same operating system. So I would, again, assume that it's just fixing some things and they're just working to get a better working ROM as some people have not had very good luck with FF18, so you might wanna try FH13. Otherwise though, let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, it really doesn't matter what uh, ROM or anything you're running on your device. It just matters that you might have to do a factory reset depending on what you're running. If you are on stock FF18, you should be able to install this uh, without wiping data. Again, you're gonna have to do that at your own risk because I'm not positive if that's gonna break things or anything. But otherwise, uh, what you can do is go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Doing so will take you to this site right here. You will see right here, FH13. Um, it's the ROM kernel and modem, everything in included. Uh, shout out to our Wilco 12 a uh, friend of mine put this together for us, so big shout out to him. Be sure to thank him for this. Otherwise, what you can do is go ahead and scroll down, and you will see right here, download the F8. First of all, you need to make sure you have the drivers installed on your PC, so make sure you do that if you have not. Uh, make sure you back everything up important, uh, just in case anything goes wrong. But you'll see there's two downloads. There's one that resets user data and one that preserves user data. Again, you should be able to preserve user data if you are running FF18 and just upgrading to uh, FH13, uh, but other than that, I you can try it out for yourself. I mean, if it doesn't work, you can always do a factory reset. So just kind of keep that in mind that you might run into issues if you do preserve user data. I downloaded the reset user data because I can I don't mind resetting user data right now. But uh, download whichever one at your own risk. Uh, once you download it, it'll be an .exe file. Go to your downloads folder actually, and you will see right here um, FH13 full restore unrooted. Uh, so what you can do is actually double click on it and hit run. And then it's gonna basically want to extract it somewhere. So what you can do is actually make a, a folder on your desktop. So um, you can actually minimize this. You can right click, hit new folder, and you can just call it FH13 if you want. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm just gonna hit this dot, dot, dot here. And on my desktop, there should be an FH13 folder. There it is right there, FH13, and hit okay and then hit extract and it's going to self extract everything into the folder for us actually it'll take a bit of time the file is a little bit large so be patient with the extraction all right once it's done extracting everything should be in this folder right here so you'll see full restore unrooted um, you can actually just double click on it and you will see it'll bring up odin it's actually an odin one click so you don't have to do anything it actually does everything for you it's really easy uh, but what you can do is actually grab your Epic 4G Touch, and we need to power it off. So go ahead and hit power off. Device will shut down. Hit OK, let it power off because we are going to need to get into download mode. Once your Epic 4G Touch is fully powered off, we need to get into download mode. To do so, press and hold volume down, power button at the same time, keep it held down. It will bring up this warning screen, hit volume up to continue, and then it will take you into download mode. So you'll see download mode. Once in download mode and you have the Odin one click open up, you can actually plug your phone into your PC. If it uh, starts to install some drivers, let it install, but you should see a yellow box here. It says COM and then a number. It doesn't matter what the number is. Um, again, if you have any issues with Odin, if it fails or doesn't recognize your device, try different USB ports, try different cables, try reinstalling drivers are the main things. Uh, cables, basically the main one, so make sure you try those different cables. But otherwise, once you see COM and then a number, you can just go ahead and hit start. Again, this is my, uh, actually it is complete, completely gonna reset user data, so I'm not trying to preserve any of my data. I'm not worried about it. You can if you'd like to. Again, if you are on FF18, you should be able to, but do it at your own risk because I'm not positive if it will, you will run into any issues or not. But otherwise, uh, just go ahead and let this Odin one click uh, do its thing. It will take a bit of time. You will see a progress bar on your device and in Odin, um, it should take a bit of time. Shouldn't really take any more than 15 minutes. If it does, it gets hung up at a certain point. Something probably went wrong. You might have to try and run it again. 
Um, but anyways, I'm going to let it uh, run through and I will be back. All right, so it is just finishing up. Uh, you will see it on modem. That is generally the last one that uh, it flashes. So you'll see progress bar is almost full. Uh, what it should do is actually automatically reboot your Epic 4G Touch once it is complete. And you will see it says reset pass, all threads completed. And there we go. So you'll see automatically rebooting my Epic 4G Touch. I don't remember it saying SPHD 710 there, so that might be something a little bit different. I can't remember it ever saying that. So I'm going to have to fill me in if, uh, if they've seen that before. But otherwise, you'll see it goes into this stock recovery, but then after it does this, it actually should automatically reboot your device. Um, a, after installing this, it should take a little bit longer than usual to boot up. Subsequent boot up shouldn't take nearly as long, so uh, be patient with this first boot up. You will see same boot animation there, but I'm going to let it boot up and I will show you I am now on FH13. All right, so just boot it up here. You will see, you can actually unplug your device. Once Odin says pass, you don't need it plugged in anymore. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go into menu, go to settings, scroll down, go to about phone. And you will now see under build number, it does say FH13 right there. So we are now in FH13. The modem has been updated to FH13 as well. And it is, of course, still Android 4.0.4, ice cream sandwich. And there you go. So it is still ice cream sandwich, unfortunately not jelly bean, but for those of you having issues with FF18, you might want to consider installing this. I'll do a review video going over maybe some of the changes and such in this build, so maybe stay tuned for that. But I did want to make sure I got a how-to video going. Uh, for those of you that did want to install it, I got some requests for that. So there you have it. Uh, if you have any questions or run into any problems, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.